Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will be working with two switches, switch 1 and switch 2, and three PCs, PC1, PC2, and PC3. You may notice that the icons of these switches are different than in the previous lab. These are called multi-layer switches because they can operate at both layer 2 and layer 3 of the OSI model, but we won't actually be using their multi-layer capabilities in this lab. I selected this switch model for another reason, which will differentiate this lab from the previous one slightly in terms of configuration. However, the basic tasks of the lab are the same. We will use VLANs to separate these PCs at layer 2, even though they are in the same layer 3 subnet. Try to complete the lab on your own first, then continue watching this video if you have trouble, or watch it after to check your solution. Step 1 asks us to ping between the computers to test connectivity. These pings should all succeed. Let's just ping from PC1. First, I'll ping PC2. Ping 10.0.0.2. The ping works. Next, I'll ping PC3. Ping 10.0.0.3. It works as well. Step 2 is to assign PC2 and PC3 to VLAN 2. Again, this is done by configuring the switch interfaces. Let's do switch 1 first. Enable conf t. PC2 is connected to fast ethernet 03. So, interface F03, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 2. That's it for PC2. Now let's do the same on switch 2. Enable conf T interface F02, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 2. Okay, step 2 is complete. Step 3 is to create a trunk connection between switch 1 and switch 2. Remember that, by default, switch ports are access ports in the native VLAN, VLAN 1. In order for these switches to carry traffic from VLAN 2 as well, so that PC2 and PC3 can communicate with each other, we need to create a trunk. Let's do switch 1 first. Interface F01. Switch port mode trunk but it doesn't work. Command rejected. An interface whose trunk encapsulation is auto cannot be configured to trunk mode. This didn't happen last lab, and actually this is why I chose this switch model. When you make a trunk link, packets are encapsulated to label them as part of a particular VLAN. On the switches in the previous lab, only one type of encapsulation is available, so there is no need to configure which type of encapsulation to use. However, some models support two types of encapsulation, one known as ISL, which is Cisco proprietary, and one known as 802.1Q, or .1Q, which is an industry standard. .1Q is by far the most common encapsulation type, and let's configure this interface to use .1Q, since we need to configure the encapsulation type to create a trunk. We do that with this command, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q now we can make the trunk link switch port mode trunk now let's do the same commands on switch 2 interface f01 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk that's all for step 3 Step 4 is to once again ping to test connectivity. If everything is configured correctly, PC2 and PC3 should be able to ping each other because they are both in VLAN 2 and we have a trunk connection between the two switches. They should not be able to ping PC1 or vice versa because PC1 is still in the native VLAN, VLAN 1. I'll use PC1 first. 
ping 10.0.0.2 doesn't work. Next, ping 10.0.0.3 doesn't work as expected. Now let's just try a ping between PC2 and PC3. I'll go on PC2. Ping 10.0.0.3. The ping works as expected. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin donations via the address in the description. I am also a brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the brave browser.